Here we have a 2009 Ford Focus ZTEC TDCI 5 door hatch in silver. Starting with the offside front tyre first. Tread wise, we're looking at around 4 to 5 millimetres there. Offside front alloy, you can see quite a bit of curving there around the outer edge. Quite heavy as well, so definitely going to require a refurb to the front alloy. Looking down at the offside of the vehicle, looking at the bodywork. Bodywork just look very well for the vehicle's age. Um, taking a good look, I personally can't spot any dents and no signs of any dinks either. Looking around the offside front panel there, it appears to be in a nice clean condition. One or two light little marks could do with a polish on the mirror. Driver's door itself again looks very well, one or two light scratches could do with a polish. A couple of light little scratches there below the driver's door as well. Nothing, uh, anything serious there. Door edge looks very clean with no signs of any car park chips. Both the sills are in nice condition. Rear passenger door also got some light scratches that could do with a polish again, just some cosmetic marks here and there. Door edge on the rear door there looks good with no signs of any chips there at all. And again, some light little marks as we move towards the offside rear quarter. Looking at the rear tyre on the offside there, we're looking at around 3mm of tread. And the offside rear alloy also in a good condition. No signs of any curbing or scuffs, a lot better than the front. Moving towards the fr uh, rear of the vehicle. As we have a look at the rear bumper here, there's quite a lot of light scratches on the back of the tailgate that require a polish. Again, they're very light, so shouldn't really be any issue. A bit of paint starting to peel there, could probably do with a little bit of a touch in. And we have got some light scratches all along the rear bumper. As we can see there, no signs of any damage though. Again, it's just cosmetic marks. Bit of a scuff mark there on the uh, towards the near side. Take a look inside the boot itself. Just needs a valet. You got your parcel shelf there. And we are looking at a spare wheel underneath the tray there. Moving towards the near side rear tyre. Once again, we are looking at around three millimeters of tread. Near side rear alloy. We've got some curb marks towards the outer edge of the alloy itself. As you can see, some scuffs and some more curbing there. So, again, a potential refurb required. Looking down the near side of the vehicle. Again, bodywork doesn't look too bad at all. It's a bit wet today, unfortunately. Um, so it's a bit hard to see. But, again, no signs of any dents. And not really any sign of any dinks either. Again, rear door edge is fine. We've got some light scratches just behind it, though. They could do with a polish. Rear door itself is fairly clean with some light scratches. Front door edge is fine. Some slight little marks there to the sills, nothing serious. And the front passenger door is also very clean as well. Mirror is in good condition. Front cords, the panel there is good. And the front tyre looking at a good 4 to 5 mil of tread. Some slight curbing there towards the uh, near side front alloy. Again, quite heavy, so again, a potential um, refurb there. Moving towards the front of the vehicle. Again, no signs of any damage at all to the front bumper. Everything appears to be in good order. Some stone chips and some scratches to the bonnet. Again, it requires some touchings or a polish. Apart from that, looks very well on the front end of the vehicle. Take a look inside the car. Four cloth interior. Lovely condition. A little bit dirty, but with a good valet, it should fetch those out no problem. As you can see, it is a bit dirty. No signs of any damage, no rips, tears, or any scratches at all to the cloth. Back of the seats are looking as well. Take a look at the driver's seat and front passenger. Once again, driver's seat looks great. Bolsters, no signs of any wearing, no damage there. Front passenger seat's also in a good condition. Dashboard, etc., there's no scratches or marks. Steering wheel's not in bad condition at all for its age either. Step inside the vehicle itself. As you can see at the top of the gear stick, there does appear to have some plastic missing, indicating the gears, etc. Um, Again, only um, one key with the vehicle, so just one key. And just getting the vehicle started for you guys. No problems at all, start to the vehicle. Uh, it does say service oil there. So an oil service light is indicating it on the dashboard. No problems at all, start to the vehicle and runs well. 85,293 miles on the clock. Multifunction steering wheel as well, again nice condition, radio and CD, no issues at all there. 
Air conditioning comes out nice and cold. Again, no problems at all with any of the blowers either. And everything's in good order. A couple of light little stone chips to the windscreen. And taking a look at the paperwork. Looking at the V5, the cars had two owners. Again, if we just focus in there. So two owners on the vehicle. It does have an MO2 which expires here August 18th, 2015. So plenty left there. And we are looking at a full <coughs> non-franchise history. First one out at 13, we've got 24, 26, 39, 53, and the last one out at 64,000. Uh, we're currently on 85, so it will require service, but quite a lot of service history with the vehicle. There we have it, guys. This is the 2009 Ford Focus ZTEC TDCI in silver.